So double. quick, are we gonna get the championship? Woo! Yes. 100%. Yes. Without a doubt, without a doubt. I think with just a little bit of luck, we got it. It's Vegas, anything can happen. A lot can happen in Vegas, and what happens in Sin City could give the Cougs their first ever Pac-12 tournament championship. They're now one step closer after a big win over Stanford last night. Krem 2's sports director Travis Green joining us now live in Vegas. And Travis, what has the energy been like after last night's win? Yeah, hey, hey, Cody, I would say not too over the moon. Yes, the Cougs punched their ticket to the tournament semifinals, something that's not exactly the norm for this program. But this team knows overall that they have a legitimate chance at winning the tournament title. Now, if you were watching the game last night and checking out social media, you would know there was a buzz about Miles Rice, not for his game on the court, but for what he was wearing under his jersey. Rice appeared to be wearing an Aaron Baines jersey under his uniform. Of course, Baines is a former Coug that spent nine years in the NBA. I asked Miles about the undershirt after the game. Miles, uh, there was talk that you're wearing an Aaron Baines jersey right now. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I'm just, I'll just take it off for you. I got you. Yeah, I got the Baines. It's on the backside. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, it's just, just an undershirt that I, uh, I like to play in long sleeves, and this is the one I wanted to play in today. Uh, but Aaron Baines is a special guy. Well, there you have it. Coach Smith also said it's special to have the current guys connecting with the former Star Cougs. Rice and WSU take on Colorado tonight with tip off set for 730. The Cougs split the regular season series with the Buffs. And interesting enough, despite Wazoo having the higher seed out here in Vegas, the Buffs are two and a half point favorites to win tonight after an impressive win over Utah last night. And of course, we'll have all your coverage out here in Las Vegas. Andrew Quinn will have the highlights of the post-game reaction for you. For now, reporting from T-Mobile Arena, Travis Green, Crypto Sports.